Hey, good day, Drew here. Welcome to Machias. Sorry, I'm the east end of the state. Basically, I'm here to uh, do a political deployment at the post office, but nobody was there, so. Uh, I'm gonna uh, get some pictures. There's a abandoned trotting park on the west side of town. And a couple of mines I want to go check out on the north end of town, but uh, since I'm downtown, thought I would get a picture of this, or get a video. This is the old waterfront. Back in the day when Machias was a seaport. Back in the day. When sailing ships would come here and dock up. I guess I came here at low tide. Yeah, these were all piers. This is very slippery. Now, you know these are ancient Yeah, you know these logs are ancient. Okay, I'm gonna pen a picture from the Historical Society, but yeah, picture appears all along this. Giant stacks of lumber. Oh boy. Yeah. That's how things were back in the day. Sailing ships. Industry. Wow, this goes on <laughs> quite a ways. Well, good thing I came here on low tide so we could see this. Yeah, so let's see more piers. So all this. docks so sailing ships could come up and get their cargo and take main products all over the all over the world Huh, okay. Something up there. Oh boy. Okay, 
it over here. No, don't look like it. Yeah, you're discovering this with me. Well, no way in hell any monitor chips could come up here. No, this is just for the days of uh, sailing ships. Okay, as you can see, quite extensive. <laughs> quite, quite, quite extensive. So, okay, so that's it. This is Drew here in Machias. All right, thanks for coming along. Here's the falls, of course, famous falls. Back in the day when water power was needed to drive industry and with industry comes prosperity with prosperity be, you know etc 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 well that was the thinking at one time industry meant a better future as long as it wall street wasn't involved and in turn it into a giant slave labor kind of operation That was pretty typical back in the day. Uh, the, the families that got rich off of slave labor. There was textile mills. Or cotton in the south. Okay. Thanks a lot. See you later. This is Drew and... Uh, Hmm. Okay, so the piers are right down there. And I assume this was a a railroad that serviced all the piers. Yeah, that's how you had to get things around back in the day. There's a big old steam locomotive. Now it's a park. Okay. Cemetery right up there. Let's go see how old residents are. This town dates back, you know, before the American Revolution. It's an old town. One of the first na naval actions was here in Machias. 1919, Miss Elizabeth O'Brien. Oh, wow. One of those O'Briens was the initiator of uh, action against the British because they had a, a warship in the harbor. So these pesky Irish <laughs> got everyone uh, riled up to go take out the British. Is a cred? Colonel Jeremy, oh, Jeremiah O'Brien died 1818, 79th year. Colonel Jeremiah, I think this is him. Wow. Yeah, they said uh, they have a very, they have a 1770 um, uh, tavern here in town. And I was just reading about this, right? This is the guy. Uh, basically the initiator of action against the British. <laughs> I, yeah! <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, so the first naval, because they got a couple of boats and they just uh, chased this uh, British vessel and they skedaddled. They first tried to uh, capture the lieutenant. Okay. 
but he saw him coming because he had positioned himself <laughs> in the in the window so he could see the uh, conspirators conspirators <laughs> that's what it's a conspiracy all right so that's cool there you go Patriot Mr. O'Brien God bless the Irish okay this looks like to be the old section of the cemetery that's cool there you go that's cool looks like the hero of the American Revolution <laughs> all right all right so mr. O'Brien thank you for your service <laughs> and the creation of the United States all right right here in the little town of Callis. There you go, 1842, 1839. Yeah, this is Harry Amelia Morse, 1835. <sighs> she didn't live too long, but that's just how things went. The people didn't live very long. Living standards were poor. Medical technology was, I mean, they were still doing bloodletting. So, all right. Thank you, Buster. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. O'Brien. So, that's cool. That's right, heroes in the little town of Machias. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, we're back to the railroad. I assume this was a, a railroad right away. Because uh, they would need something to service the piers I don't see anything otherwise 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 I mean it looks like it uh, Okay, I guess that's about it. All right, thank you. Uh, thank you for coming along and sharing these little discoveries. So that was pretty cool, like an old hero of the revolution. <laughs> that's awesome. Although uh, I assume he'd be very sad to see the condition of uh, Maine today. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, like I said, uh, we can change things around so guys like Mr. O'Brien didn't die in vain. That's the idea. So, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Okay, here we are. We're at the location of the tavern. This is where those pesky colonists conspired against those Brits landing place of the company which made the first permanent English settlement in this town May 20th 1763 and of course when you get a town you go to start a town what do you need you need a tavern that's right there you go the Burnham Tavern center of the town job Joe Burnham okay so yeah this is where I could uh, mr. O'Brien and his fellow farmers collaborated to go down and Kick some moss! Creeping. Nope. No creeping for Mr. Burnham. Or O'Brien. Okay, so. Alright. That's cool. It's a nice old building. 
glad they kept it up. So, I guess that's it. So, I'll see you later.